Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for August 21st through the 27th. I want to thank all my supporters, subscribers, watchers, commenters, and um, new clients. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is for Leo. This is going to be a weekly love reading. I wasn't going to do the weeklies, but due to the high demand, I have decided to do them. So what do you have for Leo? This is intended to be a quickie. We'll see what comes up. Okay, so Leo, what I see right off the bat is that there's some kind of illusion or fantasy, right? It's a very forefront. This is the beginning of the week. Perhaps you're feeling like you're alone and you are kind of um, feeling isolated, perhaps, or you are isolating yourself. Um, and I think that's because, you know, you're just, there's something, there's some kind of resistance to love at the beginning of the week, okay? Okay. And it stems from something from the past, okay? It stems from something from the past. This is a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, it's something that perhaps is very um, emotionally, some, some, something that you are very emotionally connected to, okay? And it has to do with your home, and it has to do with um, your security and your the balance in your life, Okay. Um, I see that there's some kind of communication. There's some kind of teamwork that comes into play. Um, here you are. This is all this Empress also represents you. I see that you're definitely taking a time of introspection this week, a time to just figure things out and to replenish your soul. I think, um... There's some there's been some some kind of communication. You've received some some word of something that um probably didn't come through as um nicely as you'd hoped, okay? Perhaps you've received some some message that was um brash, all right? And it has caused you to um uh, it's caused you to feel insecure. All right, it, ha it has. Um, this message could have come from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. You have Cancer twice. You also have... Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius a couple times. You, you have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in this reading. You have Virgo twice. Um... You know, this Empress, I figure that represents you, so I'm not going to name off the other signs that it could represent because I feel like that's you, and I think that's you doing some soul searching this week. So I think that you're working on your soul. You took some time to contemplate, perhaps, and you're working on soul searching. Um, I see that there's some kind of quick energy all right, perhaps there's something that has happened that is going to happen very quickly that um, definitely has to do with your security. Um, and it says that you're, you are going to take the lead in the situation, that you are going to put yourself in the driver's seat and you are going to be victorious over the situation, whatever it is. It's some kind of, um, you're going to get some information from uh, 
some information regarding somebody that is going to come out a little, you know, it's going to be a little brash. It's going to be a little shocking. I think the information is going to be, um, but here we have your commitment and here we have your independence. So, and here we have the, the information that comes through, you know, I think that something is going to come through. It's going to probably happen very um, quickly and it, it's going to probably um, you know there's consequences for people's actions and that's just what I wanted to tell you I think something there's going to be some consequences and I don't think that they're yours I think they're somebody else's um, But perhaps this person didn't think that there was any consequences. So I'm not sure what this is, but it has to do with your commitment and it has to do with your independence, okay? You might be considering whether you want to be independent or whether you want to be in a commitment this week. Do you really want to be part of a team? Because this is teamwork, all right? Do you, I mean, do you really want to be part of a team? Perhaps you don't want the love that's being offered because this is missing an opportunity or not accepting love, not accepting teamwork, work being independent, okay? Um, taking a practical approach. Um, it looks like you are going to be taking control of the situation whatever it is okay you're gonna work on you are gonna master your emotions and you're gonna do what's right for your soul okay because I see that you're doing some soul work it, it via you know being alone okay I think that you're working on your soul, soul via alone time all right <coughs> I think that you want to bring the balance and harmony back to your life. I think that there hasn't been or something because I see that, you know, there's been some insecurity and there's been some balance and harmony, but it's not a complete balance and harmony. And I think that you have decided to take the lead in this situation because you're looking for st stability and you're looking for security and you're looking to build a new foundation um, could be with a um, Libra Gemini Aquarius okay so could be with a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo I see that there there's a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo that shakes up your independence okay there they either you know they either you either say no to them or they come into the picture and and um mess up something i'm not sure what it is but um there's definitely something fishy going on with this right here this is the um knight of swords no it's the page of no yeah it's the knight of swords and um, it's very act now, think later energy. And up there we have the page of swords. This is where somebody has been, you know, they could be shaming you. They could be stalking you. They could be watching you. They are only thinking about themselves in the situation. Both of these cards, okay, are only thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about the consequences, okay? So there's definitely something fishy going on that affects your independence and your commitment so if you are committed to somebody you might become independent or vice versa you know if you are independent you might be committed um, to somebody I do see that you're working on your soul though and, and that you're soul searching this week um, it's time to take back control of your life all right Yes, it is. And I think that's what you're going to do this week. You're going to start to take back control of your life in hopes of bringing back um, some stability. This is my after tarot I'm shuffling. It's my new deck. I happen to love it. 
I do not read the cards like anybody else, so I use my intuition uh, via what I see in the cards. I didn't read the book. Again, your independence, okay? Living very well on your own, taking care of yourself. Now that is connected to this commitment, okay? So, so you know, your independence is definitely a factor during this week, whether you, you know, twice, three times you have it, okay? It looks like that you are thinking about what it is like to be on your own and you're focusing on that and how well you can do on your own. Okay, um, here we have uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Here we have a Gemini. We have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo here as well. And it's somebody, you know, somebody that's connected to your past or your partner's past. Um, because it's something is, this commitment of yours is going to be, you know, it's going to, something is going to happen. I mean, you could be getting into a committed relationship with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, there's a bunch of diff different, different scenarios here, okay? So you pick out which one resonates with you. I see that you are more interested in taking the practical approach. You are more interested in any stability, in security, um, and you're looking for trust, Okay, a big part of what you're looking for is trust, all right? And I think um, there's been some um, challenges, okay, in the past. Challenges in the past. Um, but you have the resources to get through it. You have the power, okay? You've learned a lot. You know how to handle it. Okay, you have the power to master your emotions. You have the power to act. You know what you need to do. Okay, your power to manifest is very big at this time when the magician card comes up. You know how to handle this person. This is a water sign. Okay, you have the resources. All right. You have the resources to handle them. You have um, the power. It looks like you are going to be victorious. All right. It looks like some some um, moving is in the picture. So either somebody is moving physically or things are moving forward very, very quickly, okay? Because this is very fast moving energy. This one is too. So things are happening pretty quickly this week. Pretty quickly. Um, let's get some more. This is supposed to be a quickie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that, you know, you're feeling like you're feeling deceived. You're, uh, you are. You're feeling deceived. Perhaps something has happened just a little bit too fast and you feel like you've had your... Uh, You've been you've been defeated, okay? And the thing is, it feels like you knew about this. It feels like you knew this was going to happen, all right? Because this is your intuition. It feels like some secret is going to come out that makes you feel like you have been deceived, makes you wonder about your independence if perhaps you just want to be independent, okay? If you really want to work as a team anymore um, and you want the practical, honest approach you want to be respected here we have you starting a new journey this is the fool starting a brand new journey okay and this new journey is taking a risk all right so here we have you taking a risk um and you could be taking it alone it's a brand new start okay that is very practical all right it's a very practical new start that leads to a new foundation all right. Um, with this five of swords, there's been a lot of tension. There's been tension, and you have you felt it. Okay, you felt the tension. I think maybe you know that there's been, maybe there's been some things said that um, were brash. Said that that were brash to put it lightly, you know. And you just knew what the outcome was going to be, but you were just not um, acknowledging it, okay? Um, I 
perhaps it was all an illusion. This is the illusion card and it came up first, you know. Um, <laughs> well, this is not the reading I was hoping for, Leo. This is absolutely not the reading that I was hoping for. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't change it up. It is what it is. Um, I see that you are looking for a more practical, responsible, trustworthy approach. Okay? You're look that's what you're looking for. I see that there's several people in this reading. We have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We have Cancer. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, we have you. We have a Virgo. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, you know, there's there's definitely some conflicts in the whole this week. Absolutely some conflicts that makes you reconsider your independence. That's what this week is about. And it makes you reconsider starting over, starting something new. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Um, <laughs> it's not what I was hoping for. So I wish you the best and um, good luck. <laughs>